Hi everyone, this is me, Summer Kelly. You're back with another video. I want to thank you all for taking time to watch this video. As you can see, I am not sitting nor am I playing guitar because it's a non musical video, but I first one um, in a couple weeks. So for those of you that enjoyed my previous music videos, I encourage you to go back and watch them. And stay tuned because hopefully, Lord willing, later this week and early next week, I'll we'll be back with more music videos to me, giving God all the glory, honor, praise, and to his name and some. Um, also, side note to know that this is my uh, first non-musical non video of me actually talking since um, August, just a couple months ago, because all my other non-musical videos that I did before um, were uh, business-related videos, and I do plan to share more of those who are willing to. So I was thinking, planning, and praying, um, and in light of what has been going on in the recent events, the title that the Lord placed on my heart to share with you guys is um, the uh, reasons to pray for and stand with Israel. And so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, um, things that the Lord's been teaching me personally and things that we Christians need to do in our response to what's going on with Israel. Number one, uh, the first thing to pray for concerning Israel is number one the bible commands us to the bible says in first thessalonians to pray without ceasing the bible says in psalm 122 is to pray for the peace of jerusalem that it be well with thee and and to pray that they prosper and so number one simply put the bible tells us to number two we are to pray for their physical protection the bible says in psalm 91 that he will give his angels charge over you to keep ye in all thy ways and psalm 3 a psalm of King David says, Thou, o Lord, art a shield for me, the glory, the lifter of my head. And so it's pretty obvious. So we need to pray for their physical protection. Thirdly, we need to pray for them to heal mentally and emotionally from trauma. Now, if anybody who's been through trauma in any shape or form, whether it be you're enduring physical, emotional, and even spiritual abuse or going through divorce or loss in some kind of way, you know how that affects you um, emotionally and psychologically. In fact, psychologists say, which again, I don't agree with all psychologists, you know, you have to put your discernment glasses on when it comes to psychologists, you know, but psychologists have said, and even doctors have said that trauma can definitely affect your body and your brain. And so just as you know how you feel or a loved one feels when they go through trauma, just to mention what the Jews would be going through mentally and emotionally. And I love how the Bible says in Isaiah 61, and it says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, upon the Messiah, um, to bite up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to set liberty to them which are bruised, and to give them beauty for ashes. And so just as you know the process it takes to heal from trauma, even if you're a Christian, how much more do the Jews need to be healed mentally and emotionally? And so that's the third thing to consider praying for them. The fourth thing to pray for is to pray that God will defend them. There's a scripture in the book of Psalms, as I mentioned earlier, Psalm 3, Thou, O Lord, art a shield for the glory to lift around my head. In Psalm 20, it talks about um, the Lord saves his anointed, and he will answer from his holy heaven. The Lord saves his anointed with the saving grace of his right hand. And so to pray that God will be their defender. The fifth thing we are to pray for is to pray for Israel's enemies. Remember when Jesus said in Matthew 5 um, to pray for our enemies, for those that persecute us? Do you also remember um, Saul before he became Paul and Saul before he became a Christian that he used to persecute other Christians? And we all know about the account when he was in Damascus and Jesus um, appeared to him in the form of a bright light and spoke to the bright light. And we know that Jesus said these famous words, Saul, Saul, why does Saul persecute me so? Now, in the context of that, Saul was persecuting the church, or as some historians were called, the followers of the way. Christians were called the followers of the way before they became Christians. So Jesus took offense about Saul persecuting his church, his bride. How much more does God must feel when he sees Israel's enemies oppressing the apple of his eye. And just as you parents or grandparents get hurt when someone hurts your child or your grandchildren, how do you think God must feel? 
And so we know that Saul would eventually repent and become a Christian and become one of the greatest apostles that Christians has ever lived and wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. And so perhaps pray that God will perhaps grant Israel's enemies repentance for them to repent for their wicked ways and to stop doing their evil. And so, and the Bible also warns that God will curse those that curse Israel. So that's the fifth thing to pray for. The sixth thing we must pray for is to pray that America will continue to stand with Israel. Now, you know, you know, as again, the Bible says in Genesis 12, God promised Abraham that God will make his name great and bless those that bless him and curse those that curse him and not to him alone, but to his seed, the, the Jewish people. And I believe one of the reasons why God has been merciful to America, despite America's sins, which by the way, I do pray for my country on a regular basis and I made videos in the past to talk about praying for America. Um, and America does need to repent still. But I think one of the reasons why God has been merciful to America is because we have been kind and supportive to Israel for many, 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 many years. And again, God says he will bless those that bless Israel. That's a promise in the word of God. So it's important for us Christians, especially those of us living in America, to continue to pray that our country will stand with Israel because I want God had a blessing to be upon America and upon my individual life. But I'm sure you want that as well. Of course, you must continually pray that America will repent from her sins, obviously. But we must pray that America will continue to stand with Israel. And lastly, and the most important thing of all, is that we need to pray that Israel as a nation will believe in Jesus as Lord, Savior, and Messiah. We know that the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 1, that Christ came to the world, the world knew him not, or one translation says the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, but his own received him not. But as many as received him gave he the right to make us sons and daughters of the Most High God. And Jesus said in John three sixteen, that whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Just as we Gentiles recognize our need for a Savior and recognize it on our own, we can't go to heaven on our own and we can't access the Father on our own, that we needed to see our need for Jesus um, as our Lord and Savior. How much more is it important for Israel as a nation to believe in Jesus and receive Jesus as Lord, Savior, and Messiah, just as we Gentiles recognize our need for a Savior? And so that's what I want to share with you guys today. I didn't want to be long, but to recap the video, the points that I made, um, you know, the things we need to pray for in several concerning Israel is number one, the Bible commands us to pray for them. Number two, we need to pray for their physical protection. Number three, to pray that they heal from the mental and emotional trauma. Fourthly, the fourth thing that we need to pray for um, concerning Israel is to pray that God will defend them. Fifthly, to pray for her enemies. Sixthly, to pray that America will continue to stand with her. And lastly, to pray that they will, as a nation, receive Jesus, Lord, Savior, and Messiah, just as we Gentiles have. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. In this video, bless you, may you like, subscribe, and share with those you know and love. Before I get off, um, if anyone is interested in makeup or anyone that is, um, I would encourage you to reach out to me because I have Mary Kay products that I'm selling and, and, and things like that. And also, um, I would encourage you to check out my blogs. I've been blogging a lot. And also, if you have kids or grandkids that are preschool age and older, that are looking for a Christ Center program that's after school, I would encourage you to reach out to me, and I would be happy to give you more information about that. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you for taking time today to watch this video. Thank you. God bless you. Let's continue to pray and stand with Israel. Blessings.